Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing a duo review. Well, we do that when we're together, obviously. Um, more obvious things. All right, so uh, this is Hot, Hot Valley Brewing Company's Mango and Stash. Not Tango and Cash, but Mango and Stash Mango IPA using cryo hops. Now, I did a solo review, and I was happy with this beer. Now, I was at Mathern's like a week and a half ago. So what's the point of doing a review now? She just said what she thought about the beer. But you haven't tried it. Oh, I know that. And so um, I was saying, let me see what kind of beer they have this week. And I'm looking around, and I said, I see these 12 packs. I said, who in the world is Hot Valley? I see Oregon. I said, I know nothing about this company. So I was looking on there, and I said, okay, all these IPAs. How long has it been since we've got really good beer from Oregon? We don't get it too much anymore. We got, so, there was a brand that was coming from Oregon that was pretty good. It was so long ago. Was it there a Red Hook? Did they come from Oregon? Portland or something like that? Yeah. I don't remember. So then... Um, I think it was Red Hook. I maybe. figured... It could have been. I figured for eighteen ninety nine a 12-pack, that wasn't a bad price. So I came home and did some research. And they, this company started in 2009... And they have a contract with a, another company called Yakima Chief Hops, who uses this cryo hop method. So it's a mango IPA, 6% alcohol, 30 IBUs. And um, I know you've never had it. I know you've never had it. So they do make it in bottles also and on draft, but we just got the can pack. Yeah. And I figured we'd start with the low ABZ one because there's a 6.2, 6.5, and there's a 8.7. 8.7? Yeah, DIP. So was, I didn't bring this time. One more. 30. So IBUs are low. Low. Relatively low. For an IPA, I... To me, it's more of a... Uh, I was going to say, you uh, the, the dredge. The dredge. So to me, thirty. when you go down to 30 IBUs, you're more of an APA. You know what I mean? American Pale Ale, not an India Pale Ale. Let's get, let's get it straight. I can smell like fleshiness that's from the, uh, uh -oh. the mango. They, well, okay. Isn't this the one I read where they said they use Not mango getting... peels? No, that's got to be something else. What was that? Not really getting a whole lot of... Well, you did mention I'd be using it below. So I'm not really getting a... Um, <clears throat> hazy gold. I'd say it's slight haze. You can still kind of see through it a little bit. So... This is the last can because I drank two in one day. I had taken a photo and I accidentally, uh, it didn't, I deleted it. Actually, I didn't let the photo process so it didn't get recorded. So I had to drink another can so I could take a photo of it. Okay. So I'm looking at the appearance and I would think in liquid form. To me, this looks like lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie? Yeah, because I got a nice frothy head on this because you gave me the last bit. And it's kind of lemony looking. And it could be because of the pulp of the, of the mango. Do you know if they're putting mango flavor or if they're using real mango? I remember now. It's mango puree. Okay. They said it. I remember that. Okay, so this, this is going to have some fruit in it. Some real fruit. Yeah, mango puree. It's not. So we should get some kind of a pulpiness from it. All it right. Smell, it smells it. Yeah, I can smell the fruit. It's faint. Yeah. But I can smell it. It's almost like a creaminess. A creamy mango. Hmm. Mm, cheers. Well, that's more of a clink instead of a clunk. I guess it. It's a mango bitterness that you get from those seeds. It's like an immature mango. It's not ripe. Yeah. It's really sweet. It's still sour. 
No, it just hasn't turned sweet bitter. yet. It's kind of bitter. It's yeah. like yeah. you're not getting not sour, it's but it's not it's not bitterness from hops. Mm -hmm. It's bitterness from like seeds. Well, you know, it could be half the thirty it's thirty IBUs. Half of that could be from the hops and the other half could be from the fruit. Some fruit could be pretty I don't bitter. know why you get this kind of flavor from fruit though. It's probably this is something probably you're really coming from, from like hops. like a seedy husk. You know what cryo hops is? I have no idea. They take hops. Splend. They take hop cones. This company, Yakima, they take hop cones and they freeze them like super cold, like way below zero. And then they, the hop cone cracks open and all the pulp from the middle comes out, the inside, they call it lupulin powder. It's like, I was watching a video on their company's website. It's like this stringy husk, not husk, but pulp. And then they, they use, the guy was picking it up pile of it and they use that for their hops now they they claim it's it's better now of course other people would probably disagree I don't know but that's I don't know this is weird I'm not really getting any mango flavor off of it I'm getting this strangely bitterness that obviously is coming from some kind of a husk like a grain husk or a seed husk or maybe even some kind of like a peel they might have just thrown the whole mango in there and pureed well, it. Well, if out. you throw the whole mango in there, you'd get some mangoness. I'm not getting any mangoness out of this. I don't know which puree they're adding. I don't know what the percentage is. Oh, but you did your research. Me, you tried. But they said they added puree. That's all they said. Okay. Um, it's medium body and has a pretty dry finish. I don't know what you'd score. I don't know what I'm going to score. I have to give it like a B minus. Because uh, it says mango in a can, and I don't taste mango. I taste it. I don't taste mango. I taste seed, husk, and peel. Because you are a communist. Um, Take it back. <laughs> now, uh, what? Take it back. That's from a movie, remember? Uh, so, um, what is your assessment? I'd agree with that. That sounds fair. B minus. Oh man, sorry, Hot Valley. Hot Valley. I, I, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't make a product. You're sliding into the C range, but I mean, there needs to be like some kind of a. It, it's not balanced. Um, there needs. There's. There's a. It, it could. It could have a slight sweetness going on that would balance the bitterness and 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 the obvious kind of roughy huskiness that's going on with this. Um, The beer flavor, minus what you're expecting from the mango, is okay. But whatever was put into this, just kind of threw it all off of me. Okay, well, that's the way it goes, I suppose. I'm giving it an A. I think it's like about a 93. I like the flavor. I think it's really balanced, well done, enjoyable. It's not too bitter or off-putting or anything like that. I, I could drink it, but everybody does not appreciate everything at the same level. So that's just... The way that these beer reviews work, I don't compel. So, so when did you say your taste buds got altered? January, and it kind of haven't been the same since then. That's right. Could that be I it? Cannot make this up. But whatever the case, if my taste buds got screwed up and now I like things better, oh well. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. But anyway, so um, this is a mixed bag on this one, and uh, I have. <laughs> This is a mixed bag on this one, and uh, um, we'll see what happens on the next three. So, y'all go to Eugene, Oregon, and tour the Hot Valley Brewery.